Hey guys, welcome to another commentary done by Diggity. This is going to be BSL Season 14 Hostel League. Round of 16, Group C. Tucson starting as the white Terran in the upper right-hand corner. Upper left-hand corner, we have Exit starting as the blue Terran. This is going to be on Turbine. And Exit, an up-and-comer. Honestly, I he's all over the place. A friend of the channel. Check him out. Generally, I don't, I'm not sure if he streams on Twitch or not. If he does, I think he does uh, on occasion, not regularly. And I believe his channel is Exit BW. Tucson, we saw in the round of 24, very, very strong play. So Exit's going to have his work cut out for him. Particularly, we saw him really pick apart 80's mullet. And very, in a very convincing fashion on Goodnight in particular. So we know his TVT is strong. Exit has a lot of creative build orders. He went extremely far in Chobo League. It's, I'm not shocked to see him graduating. I guess is it graduating? I'm not surprised to see him in Asu League this season and actually give him a bit of time. I'm, I would not be shocked to see him actually make all the way up to Pro League if he gets that spare time to go ahead and refine it. He's one of those guys who plays more by touch and feel, stereotypically. Which will be an advantage on this map because we are on Turbine. It is a three-player isometric map. One of the more creative maps. You get that free natural expansion. I would not be shocked to see both players go for a 14 command center on this map, even though it is TVT, rather than opting for early vulture player, particularly because on the front, you've got those double creep colonies that help defend. And this actually might end up playing a little bit against the standard Terran meta because the current standard meta is, is yeah, you go get a lot of those factories up early. You have that superior vulture count. You play the match from here. This map, I think, favors more having a lot of mid-game factories and siege tank counts because once you start trying to take that mineral only, siege tanks can, first of all, have a really strong position over that ridge. And this does hit SCVs, plus you have kind of that protective barrier which can be really capitalized on. It looks like Tucson did, in fact, open up for 14 Command Center. Exit actually opting to maybe... This is looking like... We'll see if he keeps the 3 SCV in gas. But I would be shocked if he went for one factory into expansion. This has got to be potentially a two-factory push, I'm guessing. And we'll see once he puts down that first factory. If he does... And this it might be he's just not familiar with the map. Yeah, this is going to be two-factory. Some sort of factory push. Because three SCVs are remaining on that gas as that first factory is finished. It's going to be a challenge, potentially, though. Because this is a pretty defensible area. It looks like Exit is going to get first scout, though. Wandering into the base. Sees that the barracks isn't finished. And is also going to see that it's a 14cc. So now it's going to be up to Tucson to muster enough troops to defend what Exit's throwing at him. Exit might have potentially felt like, okay, I'm going to anticipate that he's going to go for a earlier command center build. And so I'm going to push into it, make him pay for it. Tucson, fortunately, getting first scout and able to... Oh, <laughs> exit. Trying to pull two SCV off gas. But this SCV right here is kind of giving away the... Kind of spoiling it. He's like trying to... It's like that when you have that TA come into the dorm room. And you're trying to hide everything behind the door. But there's that one red cup that's sitting there on the corner. That's what that was. That was the moment. First Vulture being produced. We already have a bunker and an SCV inside the bunker. Factory there as well. Tucson might want to think about having troops yeah, blockading this front door. As the Vulture now sneaking out. Machine shop being dropped. Exit once again planting the SCV on gas. And I still think this has to be... It, it's possible that he was thinking, no, I'll just go... What? No, he actually switched it. Interesting. Maybe it was just a mistake on his part, leaving that there. The Vulture still able to sneak through. A lot of SCVs doing a really good job microing against this. The Marine trying to come across the corner. So Exit's going to have his work cut out for him. Currently down four SCVs and an expansion. Able to pick off that Marine there. Let's see if he can get some additional SCV kills to equalize things. At least able to keep... Wow, nice defense by Tucson, I got to say. Very nice defense. And so, going to keep that base up. Getting a starport. Double starport to follow this up? Wow. So, Tucson getting creative. So, first of all, has the factory, has the machine shop, has the superior economy. 
is going to go ahead and seal his front with a nice, clever supply depot and lifting that barracks and relanding it. And he's going to go with a Wraith follow up with his two bases, which potentially might wreck Exit's day. We'll see. Exit's got his expansion up, grabbing his second gas. He is down to SCV. Going ahead and getting siege tech with this double machine shot, but currently he does not have any anti air. Zero. Let's see if he even gets an armory down right here. So, this also going for a vulture speed, it looks like, following that siege tech. The barracks is going to go ahead and wander up, but is the barracks going to find the wraith? Control tower warping in, siege tech being upgraded for Tucson opposite corner. So, going to see that front door seal. Going to see that siege tank along that edge. But critically, it's not going to float in to see the Wraith. Second gas now up for Tucson as well. Worker count somehow stabilizing. But now exit potentially in a lot of trouble. Because there are going to be a lot of Wraith and all he has are things that shoot the ground. Starport dropping for exit. Is he... Only a single starport, though, and that's going to be his one source of anti-air. And he's not going to have cloaking or nor detecting detection for cloaking, keep in mind. So Tucson, I think, potentially going to win this on a build order and kind of a clever switch. The question is, is does he even bother with these siege tanks on the front or does he just dive in, go ahead and get as many SCV kills as possible? I think Exit has realized this now. Or maybe he just has opted to go for double wraith of his own. Detection is still a critical problem for him, though. There's no academy. There's no engineering. Oh, there's the engineering bay. Yeah, he needs to get scouting up. Man, this SCV does not want to get out of there. First Wraith being produced. Yeah, and I think he's realizing this because of just the sheer lack of siege tanks from Tucson on the front. But is it going to be in time? So Cloak finishes... We've, we're going to have five Wraith. And then they're going to start moving out in groups. Tucson might have played himself here, though, depending on how this all works out. Because having the inferior siege tank count, if Exit can defend this, if he can get some turrets on the front, then he's going to end up in a situation where he has fewer siege tanks and he's basically just boxed into his two bases. Maybe if he can... He's going to be way behind in siege tank count. He doesn't have a second factory as of yet. The Wraith wandering out, immediately killing the Marine, and now all of these siege tanks. Slim pickings. One down. Turret being built to the north. Tucson not realizing it. Some counter Wraith moving their way out. And Tucson opening up his front. Four siege tanks. So these siege tanks getting massacred. Some additional turrets being planted. There is a turret to the north, but there's already three siege tanks right there to take it out. So Tucson, all of a sudden, in firm command, he's even going to grab his third behind all of this. Very brave. You can see the counter wraith. Where are the wraith now? The counter wraith for exit are up. That'll at least keep him in the match. But right now, is he just going to go wander out and take his own third? Looks like that is the plan. Going to lose his barracks, unfortunately. Behind the supply, behind the worker count, it's going to have a later third. Tucson with a nice air fleet starting to move out. There are turrets to go ahead and protect this third potentially. But it's going to be a minute before the Wraith count is going to be even. We do have detection. But keep in mind, Wraith can just walk in and out of areas without that detection. And that was additional turrets that needed to be dropped because of this air fleet. So Tucson able to get another siege tank on that corner. Finding siege tanks unprotected. Comsatting trying to get counterattack, but he has inferior amount of wraiths to go for these counter shots. So he's trying to micro at a disadvantage. And Tucson still whittling that siege tank count down. In firm control now, has that third up, tacking on additional factories in a very strong position. The gambit paid off. Exit being very careful, building that command center inside base, floating it out now. Just going to rely on this single turret and the fact that Wraith are basically paper. 
to keep Tucson's troops back, but already at an economic deficit. He's still sitting on the two factory count. He needs to rebuild his barracks just to get factories out. But as we're moving into the mid game, Tucson in a really strong position to exit. I'm wondering if he's just going to try to sneak a ninja command center here in the bottom left hand corner and hope that turret holds it. Or if this is just a turret to try to keep an eye on these Wraith and catch them. The Wraith find the turret, find the SCV there. Looks like they're just going to go ahead and pick that away. SV trying to repair. The problem with Wraith is they're so mobile, can provide so much protection. Defensive siege tanks and barracks over that edge. And now Tucson also has the option to go ahead and get a siege tank. You got to defend so much territory to hold this third. The Wraith for Tucson are there, but Exit has to just hold the line and keep an eye on this back edge to make sure that nothing sneaks by. SCV moving out for Tucson knows he has map control, so potentially going to go ahead and grab a fourth. Five factories up. Wraith are going to be... Wow. I don't. I can't remember the last time I saw a, Vac a, a Valkyrie in TVT. So the Wraith are going to be supplemented with some Valkyries. Amazing. We'll see how that plays out. So he w definitely wants to have air control. Three additional factories going to be plopped down. He is down 20 supply, plus one weapons on the way. Exit starting to move out, wants to go ahead and strike someplace. But unfortunately for him, maybe because of these Valkyrie, he'll be able to equalize things a bit. But Exit, I feel like he's moving into an inferior, he's moving into a superior troop count. Looks like he has more troop cohesion though. Tucson moving out. So that's going to open up exit potentially to go ahead and move towards the lower rim. Tucson just moving straight across the middle of the map. So it's going to be position versus position. Exit moving in. He can cover the ramp and attack that natural expansion. Wraith in the air. Overhead, they've got the support of the Goliaths. Few siege tanks wiped out there. We'll see how things play out overall. And yeah, Tucson just feels he has a superior troop count. So he's just not even bothering to siege and walking into this. Wraith clearing out everything with Cloak for exit, though. So he's able to wipe out that air fleet, able to take out those Valkyries. Another Valkyrie moving forward. And now it's Exit's turn. Looks like he's going to go ahead and back off with all of the comps that being dropped. But it was Exit's turn potentially to pick off some siege tanks. But as things round out after that very chaotic exchange... Bottom right in corner, you have an SCV attacking a refinery and Tucson defiantly taking a fourth base, overcommitting some troops here to take care of just an SCV. Third base is up and established. He has map control, still has the five factories, continuing to produce Valkyrie now. Not sure that's necessary. Exit has a couple, handful of vital SCV you might want to rectify. Double control tower, science facility. Is he going to go ahead and try to make a quick swap to battle cruisers? Exit going to go ahead and potentially try to grab his fourth. While Tucson's up 30 supply and has an expansion above him. Very risky play. But he needs to take risks to get back in this match. Tucson now moving across this lower blade. Looking to see if we have, we see that science facility lift off and uh, move from there. One advantage for Exit. He's got the plus one armor. But he just has too few troops, comparatively. Comsat clearing out the Wraith with those Valkyrie. Group repair on that single siege tank, but they're just overwhelming the amounts of siege tanks to go ahead and wreck that. And now, Exit's third base has been breached. Lifting that off. He's actually going to use it to sneak forward, maybe buy himself some time. What's the factory count behind this? We got five factories behind this. A couple vultures sneaking out on the edge. Tucson. Moving in some SCV to go ahead and repair. And Tucson with a dominating army. 
has pinned exit back to three bases. This third base is just exposed. A vulture somehow manages to make it in the bottom right-hand corner for exit, but he's down so much supply, I don't know that it matters. Looks like some vultures going to sneak down to go ahead and clear that out. Exit desperately trying to reestablish this command center, but this feels like too little too late. Tucson's continuing to surge towards 200-200. Looks like there's a Goliath there as well, but yeah, overwhelming attack force. I think Exit now realizes the situation. So calls GG, drops game one. And Tucson just showing, yeah, he's got ferocious TVT. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.